What is good, my beautiful broken people? The name's Pinkies, Ben Pinkies. And today, welcome to James Bond's 007 Upper Body Workout. So, follow along as we go through six different moves, six different total exercises, and 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four sets of each, and then you're gonna need two dumbbells, a uh, heavier, heavier set. So, we're gonna do, I have right here, 40 pounds. You don't have to do 40 pounds, you can do whatever you feel is comfortable. You're gonna need a bench that goes incline, preferably, and you're gonna need a pull-up bar or a pull-up area. Got it? So, follow along. James Bond typically does four sets of 10 reps each, but I have changed it to suit the way we do things here, which is time-based. So 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So obviously, we're gonna start by warming up our upper body. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and Arm circles, make sure you don't hit anything. Okay, don't see that? I'm so close to hitting this guy, but I know, like, I have eyes in the back of my head, like James Bond does, so that he can shoot anybody he wants, so that I don't hit anything, okay? So yeah, preface this workout. Uh, Daniel Craig's preferred workout of choice, basically to look good on screen. Go ahead and flip sides, go ahead, do the arm circles the other way. So definitely need to warm up the shoulders because we're doing a lot of pressing and we're doing a lot of pulling. And that's basically just to build the upper body, right? And to do build the upper body, you need strong shoulders because they are going to take the brunt of the, you know, stress. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so keep going with them, them, them shoulders. Shoulder circles, but yeah. Definitely, you know, homeboy does his thing for the upper body. Let's go arm a crossover, right? Whatever you want to call these, then uh, Michael Phelps slaps behind your back. Just bring the arms across like this. Kind of like a, uh, you know, your arm straight, bring it across. Try to slap your back, kind of. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so. What I was saying was, before I was interrupted by my own mind, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead and go up, try to touch your back, all right? Straight up, touch your back. So, what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna start off with incline bench. Then we're gonna go into, so four sets of incline bench. Then we're gonna go into four sets of pull-ups. And then we're gonna go into Four, we're gonna start with dumbbell rows, right? But then we're gonna flip in between dumbbell rows and incline push-ups. So that's the only time you're gonna be flipping back and forth. Okay, so now we're gonna go torso twist. So that's the only time we're gonna be flip-flopping back and forth and not doing um, four sets all the way through. Cause he typically does supersets for the dumbbell rows, or he doesn't do dumbbell rows, he does like a body weight row, but because the sake of our workout, you know what, just go with it. Dumbbell rows, you don't know any better, maybe you do. But anyways, that's what we're doing, dumbbell rows, and then we'll superset it with uh, incline push-ups to really get that upper body pumped up. And then next we're going into incline chest fly. So, you know, just to keep building that chest muscle so you look you know, good on the beach. And then lastly, we're gonna finish off with a dumbbell pullover, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and explain each exercise starting now. I know we, we only did like three, three minutes of uh, warm up, but that's okay. Okay, so you're gonna grab your dumbbells, right? We're gonna get into this incline bench. So set the incline to incline, okay? So mine's around 30 degrees of incline. Yours can be 45 degrees. That is okay too. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells. Make sure when you're pressing at all times, you're pulling your shoulders back and down and tightening your core so that you, and you have like a natural arch in your back. You don't wanna over arch, you just wanna have a natural arch in your back, all right? And as you press, you're gonna pinch your shoulder blades together at all times and you're gonna press up, okay? You don't wanna roll your shoulders forward as you're pressing, right? We don't want this, okay? It's not a dance move. You want to keep your shoulders back as you press because remember this is going to be a lot of pressure on your shoulder joint so you want to make sure your shoulder stays nice and in its position all right 
So you have about a minute to get ready. Go ahead and grab your water if you need to. We're gonna start with our first set of incline dumb oh. One set, yeah, incline dumbbell press. Okay. Sorry, I had a little brain fart. Okay. So grab your dumbbells. I got these foldies right here. Okay. So set number one. All you're gonna do is just you know do what you gotta do. Uh, I typically like to choke up on the dumbbells, right? So if you normal people hold, or not normal, just people like to hold it in the middle. I like to choke it up uh, at the top of the, the handle. That gives you a little bit more of a concentration on, it, it makes it more comfortable for me to think about uh, engaging my upper chest a little bit more. Three, just there. two, ready? one, Let's get ready. go! Exhale as you come up. Control. Tighten your core. Keep your shoulder blades pinched together. Come on. Be my guest and increase weight. Uh, I am going to stay with the 40s right here because uh, I feel like that's a good weight. You know, if you need to go up, if you need to go down. Okay, you gauge your preference here. All right, you can always pause the video and go grab you some different weights. Ready, set. <laughs> purposes be looking good on camera now you definitely want to hit that upper chest get you that nice you know chest plate look like armor look <sighs> instead of that you know big round look <sighs> I don't know where it's going with that but yeah that's what we're looking for armor plate look okay instead of a soft plate look come on this is round three. Oh my god. It's getting tough. So, we're on to the last round of incline bench, and then we'll be moving on to pull ups. So, make sure you Find your pull-up area or you know you have your pull-up bar or if you're in the gym go go find you you can also use a pull down lat pull down machine right any of those are possible let's go last round as you can. Ah, shoot up. Slow on the way down. Eccentric move. Ah, explode up. Ah. Oh. oh man. Okay, so now we're getting ready for pull-ups. Let me adjust camera number two so y'all can see the pull-up game strong. I was just setting up camera number two because I don't have a camera person, but that's okay.
So, I got 12 there. You know, Daniel Craig typically only does 10 reps for each set, but we're trying to be better than James Bond, right? Better than 007. We're 008. Or is it six is better? I don't know which way is better, but you know, try to get better. Beat yourself up, I guess. All right, let's go. jump you can also jump up and then go slow down on the eccentric oh, man. so that's two sets down oh man so yeah if you're not able to do full pull-ups right either do lap pull downs on a machine where you can reduce the weight or do an assisted lap, pull, uh, assisted pull-up machine, or you can put a band around here, connect it to the pull-up bar, and then put your feet on that to help. All right, when you're doing pull-ups, think of your chest I'm trying to go up and meet the bar. You don't have to get your Head over the bar. It's not a chin up. Oh man, it's a pull up. What round was that? What are we on? Who's counting? We have one more? Of course we have one more. Because, you know, once you get tired, really can't think of them anymore. But after this, we're going into dumbbell rows, and then we'll go into incline push-ups. So, let's get ready for this last set of pull-ups. I'm dying here. Come on. still just like doing push-up and you explode up slower on the way down explode up so I have a, a little bit of a bias towards the Pierce Brosnan 007 because I felt like they were like pure 
007 or you know, where action, over the top, get the girl, right? Gunfights or stuff like that, but so we're going back into uh, Dumbbell Rose. And this will be our second round. Uh, but I do know, our, for me personally, I also think Casino Royale is a really good James Bond movie. Rose. So, those are, that's my uh, two sets on 007 movies. But I did go back and watch like, the older ones, like the Sean Connery ones. movie. You know, all right, get ready for the time push-ups. This is round 12. Uh, still round two. You know, and then another big thing of 007 while I was growing up was, you know, you know that game, GoldenEye. Super popular, super fun. I was never really good at first person shooters, so, but that game was so fun. Played with my brothers, my cousins. Uh, and um, my favorite weapon was definitely either the golden gun, because it was cheap as hell, and uh, that, was, that remote controlled rocket launcher, cheap as hell. So, you see the pattern here? I like the cheap as hell weapons because they were cheap as hell. So I remember that game used to have um what's it called? Auto lock on. So it would aim for you and then people would find out you're doing that. And then you're also cheating. So cheap as hell. Yeah, come on let's get these rows. Ah, round three ah, of these rows. And ink my push ups. Come on. Abs tight. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, no wonder he only does 10 reps of those. But even getting 10 reps once you're in this deep is pretty hard. Yeah. But I think that's my exposure to James Bond. Um, double O's. Like, Quantum Solace. I didn't really like that movie, but uh, you know, some action sequences were cool. Back to the inclines. Round 14. Come on, slow on the way down. Explode up, slow on the way down. Explode up, really build all around chest. Okay, can't always be about the weights. Calisthenics. Using your own body weight is good too. You want to be able to do push your own body weight around. Get that last one. Ah, man. What else are we working on? So next, after this next round here, we're gonna go into incline chest fly. So we're probably going to reduce the weight. I'm gonna bring the 40s down to about 20s, and that allows you fully control the uh, chest fly without um, a, a higher chance of injury. You don't want to... Yeah, you know, we're all about not injuring ourselves. You don't want to get injured on a stupid move like an incline chest fly. Which I actually do not prefer as a move to increase your chest size or strength. Because it puts a lot of strain on that joint, or not joint, but like that tendon. Oh, 
let's put these back here. And then I will adjust after, well, I can adjust now. So bring it to 20. You can just grab weights that are 20. Look at that. Bam, they're at 20s. Okay, so after doing push-ups here, bring the bench up to an incline, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, whatever you prefer. And then grab your weights. I basically reduce mines by half. I will explain the reason why I don't prefer the chest fly because you know that pec tendon is literally it, it's so small or it condenses to a small area so if you're stretching it that far and causing unnecessary stress to such a small okay, bring that chest that uh, incline up right you bring the chest muscle so in so it's right here you see how it gets so much smaller when it reaches that area you don't want a lot of um, stress in such a such a small movement and it just a lot of stress in that one one spot for this movement so that's why I'm like so right here so you get that stretch a little bit squeeze up right Keep your arms about, like you're trying to hug somebody, right? You're gonna wrap your arms around someone. That's what I like to tell you how to do it. Right, boom. Yeah. There you go, feel that stretch a little bit. You don't need a huge stretch. And you don't even have to get these dumbbells to touch each other, all right? You, you see how, you see how I'm not bringing it all the way in and straightening my arms? Right? Just get that little stretch. My arms are bent like I'm throwing uh, throwing hook punches. Right? My arms are bent like this, like I'm going for a hug. Right? And then all you do is feel that stretch and you squeeze that muscle. And then that's it. Any more, you kind of lose the contraction. So there's no point there. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells again. That stretch a little bit. Bring it up. Stretch a little bit. Bring it up. Okay? You're gonna get adequate results just by doing this. Get that stretch a little bit. You don't have to extend that stretch. Come to breathe. Inhale, exhale as you come up. All right, two sets done. Okay, two more left. But yeah, so now you know like the back, the background info of my uh, my history of James Bond 007. Um, but like, I mean, I would say like of the Daniel Craig James Bond, hands down, Casino Royale is the best. Let's go. great thing about this workout I have modified is you know you use very little equipment very concise only takes 24 minutes you know not including the warm-up but you know warm-up is important so that's round three done we got one more of the incline uh, fly and then we're gonna go into a dumbbell pullover. So we're going to I'm going to increase the dumbbell weight up to uh, 40 pounds again just to hold one and then we're gonna do we're gonna put the Seat back or the incline back down to zero and then we'll go into a dumbbell pullover And I'll show you by switching this over to the side. So let's finish this last one Move the, the bench, change weights all within 30 seconds. Yeah, it's because I'm 007, James Bond. Bond, James Bond. You know what I'm saying? It's easy. This is how we get stuff done. Efficient. All right. So, 
like I said, we're going to put these back, increase the weight up to 40, right? Grab the dumbbell. We're going to move this guy, right? Put the incline down. Now you can see I'm going to go into position and then I'm going to hold the dumbbell. Dumbbell pull over. Look at that. Get that stretch and bring it up. Okay? So, this is a modification to the way Daniel Craig does this. He does actual, you know, uh, straight arm pull downs, but, and that uses either the cable machine or the lat pull down, but, and it targets the lats and gets a little deeper contraction in the lats, but this works just as well. Anybody uh, upper body shaking as they're doing that movement? Me too, because uh, your boy is getting fatigued. Fatigued. So, keep up the good work. You're doing great. Only three more, three more sets, and we're done with, we're gonna be done with this 007 workout. And you too can join MI6. Uh, let's go. I'm just kidding. You know, it's probably a lot of hard work and training. But you ever thought about like how many 007s they actually have, or is it like limited to just nine of them? Right? You get 001, 2, 3, all the way to nine. There's no 0010. You can't just say 0010. That doesn't make no damn sense. Or you can't say 00. So I mean, I guess you could. I guess you could. Or is it like just a uh, small group of highly trained assassins or like, uh, what the hell is Bond? Is he like Bruce Wayne or Batman when he's like investigates and then seeks and destroy or assassinates? Huh. is 007 James Bond upper body workout done and if you like this video don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already or else I will send James Bond after yell at mm hmm so uh, don't forget to visit benpeakies.pit to get you some sweet gear like this shirt right here that I you know so happily turned into a cop because I knew I was gonna do this upper body workout and my arms would be so bulked up, swole. All right, so, and as always, your boy, <laughs> pinkies, bent pinkies. <laughs> <laughs>